morning, everybody. Um, so, I had a restful sleep last night. Still awakening a little bit drowsy. <laughs> but thought I would send out some little messages instead. Um, so, my lesson for today. Lesson 234, Father, today I am your son again. Now, this isn't meant to think of us as his literal son, like body with a penis. That's not what this means. <laughs> what this means is that we are all made as one extension of his love. And then we are all his son. Right, but gender is not meaning specified here. It's meaning the one soul, the one love, the one heart, the one being. Right, babe? Right. <laughs> and so today is the day that we can go around and hold this thought in our minds. Father, today I am your son again. So that we may remember this. As we begin to accept this thought in our minds, what happens is we start to begin to see things a little bit differently than we had in the past. We start to look past what is shown to us in form, what we would have normally paid attention to in relationships. Instead, we start to look past those to the sameness that is within. And what that is, is all of us being a son or a child of God. It's within all of us. Right? And the whole point when, when experiences happen in our lives is to remember, oh yeah, this world in which I'm living, this character in which I'm playing, it's all a part of a dream. Just like Shakespeare says when he says we are all merely players. Yeah. Playing a part. In a play. He says something like that. And we are. <laughs> right? We all have our part to play. Because all the world is a stage. All the world is a stage. And we are all merely players. Right? Thank you. That's it. All the world is a stage. I actually did... Um, a big presentation on that in one of my Shakespeare classes in university. I didn't pay too much attention, though. <laughs> but I loved it. I understood it, right? Um, but anyways, um, all the world's a stage, and we are all merely players. And that's exactly what it is. And so when we hold Father, today I am your son again, what it, what it is reminding us of is our truth and that this world really here is a stage. And, and up until this awareness of who we really are in truth, we've been playing a part, we've been playing our character, you know? And um, it's important to take this awareness with us wherever that we may go so that we remind ourselves, oh yeah, this is a dream. Therefore, the pain that I was just experiencing or whatever, you know, however amount I was just suffering or whatever I believed to have just happened or that matters, really doesn't matter at all because it didn't even really happen so then we become open to seeing it differently right and this is when the holy spirit can teach us how to forgive forgive us for what like teaching us to forgive ourselves for what we believe to be true and also at the same time forgiving the other person for what we thought they did to us you know forgiveness is merely just the recognition that nothing ever happened and nothing even matters and all that matters is the truth of who we are as eternal, beneficent beings of light, right? All the same, all one, all coming from one source, you know, and so thus we are all extensions of this source, and some may call that sons, some may call that children, some, you know, some may call that souls, we can call it whatever we choose to call it, but the wording within the Course is comfortable for me, so, so I use that, right? Um, so perhaps maybe we can say this prayer together, because it would be nice to kind of sink into it, even for myself. Because I know that as 
as I go throughout the day today, I will be holding this thought in my mind, Father, today I am your son again. And I will be reminded each and every time that, oh yeah, oh yeah, I am a child of God. Oh yeah, I have the infinite power of the universe within me. Oh yeah, I am a miracle worker in truth. Right? And so when we hold, you know, even just this thought of remembering in our mind, it, it brings us back to, to now, it brings us back to truth, it brings us back to stillness so that we no longer are in our thinking mind, so that we are no longer, you know, trapped between what we believe to be true, what we believe to be happening, what we believe to have happened to us. Um, because the beliefs and, and, and the ideas and the conclusions in which we have made based on ourselves and based on this world is really just our perceptions of it, and, and it's not truly how it is. So we are learning to pass that together. So when we hold this thought in our mind, Father, today I am your son again, it reminds us of, it's an anchor, it reminds us of our truth, it reminds us of our home, it reminds us of our being. And then we can take this this new awareness and, and see the, the experience totally differently than we were even just a few minutes before. So this is the power of, of these these divine words that are, are beyond words, but hold the meaning and the power of, of the infinite love of our creator within the memory of you and of your love. We recognize our safety and give thanks for all the gifts you have bestowed on us, for all the loving help we have received, for your eternal patience and the word which you have given us that we are saved. Right? How simple and how beautiful is that Every time we remind ourselves, Father, today I am your son again, we are reminded of his love, of his safety, and we may give gratitude in advance for the gifts that he has bestowed upon us, the power that he has given us, and for all the loving help that he gives us also, whether it be through new people, through new experiences, knowing that true learning is in every single moment. And it's our perception of it. It's not learning in books. It's not learning in school. It's not learning in all these other ways. It's learning from our own internal teacher. We're typing away. So we all must know that this, this place of safety and this place of love is waiting there. And our Father is eternally patient with us for us to remember the day that we say, Oh yeah, I am a child of God. And we speak to our Father as we are. And as we do, He hears us. And He answers our call. And through the voice for God that He has given us in our minds, He communicates to us. And reminds us of our truth from within us. No longer outside, but from within. And this is the experience that we need to have to remind us of home, to remind us of the light and love that we are and the power that we have to bring miracles and heaven to this earth through us. So we all have the ability to remember. We all have the ability to go in. We are all the same in truth. So the answers that I receive from the Holy Spirit in my mind, I know you can receive in yours too. And today we are being called to remember we are one and the same. Father, today I am your son again. 